it's Savannah Boda, better known as the Dallas Esthetician, and today I have a super exciting video for you guys. I'm going to be doing a Jesner's Peel, which is amazing for hyperpigmentation, melasma, fine lines and wrinkles, and acne. So if you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment and let us know what you want to see next. So the Jesner Peel has 14% salicylic acid, 14% lactic acid, and 14% resorcinol. solution to decrease the skin so we can get a thorough even application. Okay guys, so I'm going to be using the Skin Astringent number 5, which is 5% salicylic acid to decrease Chloe's skin. Look at that, you can see all the stuff that was on her skin. Chloe, you did not cleanse good. I did a double cleanse. Chloe, you did not. Can y'all see that? So for my application for chemical peels, I always use a two by two woven gauze. All right guys, so now that Chloe has had her prep solution all soaked into the skin, we're gonna go ahead and get started with her first pass. So the Jester peel is a medium depth peel. She should be peeling for the next four to five days and she's gonna see some darkness come up, which is all the pigment from her skin, coming up to the surface, flaking off to reveal a beautiful, even complexion. The clinical endpoint for this treatment is a full frost on the skin. And like I explained in my previous video when I did the TCA peel, there is a difference between frosting and blanching. So frosting is something that can be wiped away, blanching is not. Okay, so I just finished her first application. Now we are going to wait about two to three minutes and go in for a second pass. Okay guys, so the reason I chose the Jesner's Peel for Chloe is because I want to work on this hyperpigmentation that she has underneath the eyes and on her forehead. So this is after our first pass, so you can see that she's starting to get some frosting and blanching right underneath that eye, which is perfect. So we're not going to go over that under eye area, but we are going to touch the other areas that have not achieved that full frost. Okay guys, so what I meant by frosting is that frosting can be wiped away, so watch this. You can see it's going away, but you can see that under of the skin is blanched. So she's gonna get a really good medium depth chemical peel. All right guys, if you love seeing YouTube videos just like this one and you wanna see all kinds of treatments, chemical peels, and services that we provide here at Savannah Boat Aesthetics, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube and catch us every week with new videos. And always remember to reapply until you die.